Hi guys, I'm here with Vicky. We're just about to talk about breaking. This is our second lesson, second hour, and we're really trying to get some soft stopping, squeezing, set, squeeze progress going progressively. You know, um, set the brakes, squeeze the brakes. That means your, your foot goes to the brake, doesn't it? But there's a lot of things about braking we need to know. It's not just the braking, let's do braking. There's a lot of things that we need, need to know about braking, and we've got a whole list here, and Vicky. How did you go today on your braking? Good. Yes? What, how, how else did you go? Um, do you think we achieved the target? Or do, we need to, no. do you think we need to keep practicing the braking? Yeah. All right. Practicing. That's great. So you got a, no, a whole bunch of notes here, right? Yeah. Can you tell us a lot about braking? Like you inf just tell us what you've written down here. Braking yeah. is for control. Yes, braking is control. Yeah, the steering is guidance. Guidance. So we got to complement each other those two things yeah what else do you have here um, when you start the car you must not see the handbrake symbol yeah so the handbrake symbol should be switched off on the dashboard like that's it right there the little red bit there near the speedometer yep um yep right foot on the brake before starting yes we always put the right foot on the brake before starting next um squeeze Set, squeeze, compression, compression on, the brakes. on the brakes, yes. Cool. And the faster you brake, the quicker you stop. Mm, very interesting. Okay, that's good. Of course we do. So that's compressive hydraulic operator, yeah? Yeah. Um, reaction time, skidding time, plus skidding equals, time, stop time. equals stop time. Very good. So when you see a hazard, you got to be over the time you get to the brakes. you got some reaction, you got skidding time. Cool, and then you stop time, then you stop certain times. Tell us how, if you're driving um, X amount, so what do you got, 50 kilometers an hour, how long does it take to stop the car? 30 meters. And that call, it's a bit of reaction time in that too, isn't it? Yes. Some of the 50. meters in travel. Yeah. 40 kilometers an hour? 40. Yeah, okay, so then what about general driving and stopping towards corners? How many meters, say you're driving 40 kilometers an hour, when do you think you should be starting the brakes? setting and squeezing meters. 40 meters progressively to the corner what about 15 kilometers an hour how how far do you have to start braking 50 meters in advance good so how many poles would that be between two, two poles that'll be around two poles yeah yeah so you start braking just before the second pole to the corner yeah yep all right mm -hmm. um look for the brake lights in front of you yes see the car in front when he hits the brake lights you should also hit your brake lights yeah yeah so Keep that means distance. that gives you a nice distance of three seconds following space, yeah? Um, do not prematurely come off the brakes. Yeah, the new students always prematurely come off the brakes, yeah? Yeah, go slow. Yeah, so keep the pressure on the, the brakes, car. yeah? Right, okay, you're making a corner, you're going into a corner, and you're traveling, and it's kind of your right away, you got to keep that pressure on, yeah? Yeah. Keep the pressure on further around the corner. You can feel the brakes, yeah? Slow down at roundabouts. Check yes, we always slow down at roundabouts. Check the center, check the right, because you've got to give way to the center, got to give way to the right, yeah? Give Good. way to inside of the roundabout. The look, the donut, right. yeah. Give way whether he's in the donut first of the roundabout, yeah? Yeah. Good. What's your next point? Um, can you pass each other? Passing each other? Yeah, when you're passing each other, making a right turn together with another vehicle on a four way junction? Slow. Slowly go and make then make sure you check the left bit of the other lane, cool? The left part of that car, something you can miss a motorcycle. Yeah. And then when, you, when you've got a vision, you can accelerate gently out, cool? Um, right to right, left to left, slowly as well. Fine, next point. Um, when you're in a high risk zone, mm -hmm. you have to back off. Yes, you do. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah. so if you're driving in the blind spot of another car, Back off and cover your brake, then your car goes backwards a little bit naturally in automatic, and then you can not be driving the blind spot of a truck or another vehicle driver next to you. When you're reversing, what happens? Go very slow. Keep the pressure on the brake, don't come off, go very, very, very slow, yeah? Yeah. Look for kids. Don't come off the brakes. Yeah, don't come off the brakes, yep. Um, keep three seconds following space. Yes, do you know how to calculate? Let's say that you're following a blue car like this one in front of you and he reaches the his back reaches a pole. What do you do from here? What do you say? 
one. Thousand and one in travel, thousand and two, thousand and three, and at the thousand and three, now you're that car, you're the blue car, yeah? Yeah. And that's we, how we calculate our spatial. And what you do if you find yourself too close, you brake. Brake. And it slow down a bit, and then you recalculate the space. And make sure you go to three seconds. Okay, what's your next point? Um, slow down. If you can't see, five seconds in front of you. Good, like a bend, yeah? Bend. We're always these off the accelerator. Maybe cover your brake a little bit. Cover it means shifting your foot to the, the right, yeah? Slow, next. slow down next to buses, hazards and pedestrians. Yes, always respond and cover your foot around, okay? That's bonus points for the test if you do that. Yeah. Always cover. You've got to learn to come off the accelerator, cool? Got to um, shift your foot regularly. And when you can't see, the turn off. When yeah, you have people in front of you. Very good. Cover your brake. Cool. Um, All the time. Deaccelerate. Coming up to traffic lights. Yes, deaccelerate. Cover, cover your, your foot. Brakes. You should be resting there, yeah? In traffic. Mm -hmm. Brakes. Hardest. Earlier, so in trap when you're in traffic, lots of traffic lights about or whatever, or got some cars around you, right, on the main roads, you always do the hardest what? Break early. Early, and then? Okay, fine, what's the next point? That was a good point. Um, I like that point. Don't leave hardest break till the end. Good. Um, gradually release break before stopping. And then? Um, good. Leave car length. Yeah, and then? Cover your brakes. Right. Up the hill. Very good. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. you got to say louder, say louder. Up the hill, use That's handbrake. That's the way. Good, use your handbrake. Okay. Well, always, well, before braking, see the rear mirror. Oh. Okay. Stop, stop completely for, for what? How many seconds? And where do you Three stop? Seconds. For a stop line. At a stop line. Good, go next one. Before approaching lights, must brake. Cover the brake, yeah. Um, I must know how to press gently. Yes, you progressively. You're kind of pushing too hard on the accelerator today, aren't you? Yeah. Especially into the right of the corners, yeah? Yeah. Good, um, and roundabouts, you, you said already, always slow down towards roundabouts to start checking. Use brakes to come out of the curb. Yes, okay, next Regularly one. Regularly check mirrors before stopping. Good. If, the, if in emergency, look first, then break. All right. What did we do today that made you stop suddenly? What was that call? Emergency stop, isn't it? Well, how did that feel? You had to slam the brake at 20 kilometers an hour. You said you liked that, didn't you? <laughs> All right, but that's only to be used in emergencies. That's yeah. teaching you how to brake in emergency because we don't want to be hitting the accelerator. Yeah. Okay, the wrong pedal. Yeah. So we're going to train ourselves to hit that. We might do it another time next session. Maybe we'll do it at 30 kilometers. We'll jam the brake, huh? Because if something comes in front like a kid and you press the wrong accelerator, you press the wrong pedal, the control pedal, what happens? What could happen? Could you could kill somebody, so be very careful. Yeah, that happens all the time. They, few people have less, lost their lives and as a beginner they've went into a bus shelter. I was only about three years ago and they killed three people at the bus shelter around Rockdale. Yeah, it happened. So I'm glad you're learning about your brakes now. Okay, Vicky, thank you very much for um, teaching us how to break early. Cool. And this is what we're going to keep practicing until we get it just right. Okay, look forward to our, ne forward to our next lesson. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very cool.